Okie dokie, let's make a poke bowl. What's a poke bowl? Well, it's a Hawaiian dish with Japanese influences, I would say. Very popular takeout. It's almost like ceviche with a lot of yummy things. So what we're gonna do is just make a tuna poke bowl, okie dokie pokey, and we're going to just do some beautiful garnish and really you can use traditional garnish or you can use whatever you want as long as you have beautifully seasoned, almost ceviche fish. And um, well, you'll see, I'm gonna use pretty traditional toppings and then we will see about okie dokie pig in a pokey, but no pig. So you wanna buy tuna from guys with lines. Very rare. Line caught is very, very, very expensive, and it should be. Uh, the ones that are caught in the nets and everything, you really wanna steer away from it. So let's just be conscious of where the fish comes from. Please use a Monterey Bay Seafood Watch app just to check things in the store. And if your fishmonger is a good fishmonger, he doesn't mind you looking at that app to see what's proper. And if he's a really good fishmonger, what do you do? I'm gonna cut this into sort of bite-sized squares. It's not sashimi. I'll show you. We're gonna marinate this in a little ponzu, garlic, shallots, lemon juice, togarishi, you know, really delectable, all right? Pokey, 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 pokey. Pokey, 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 pokey. Um, I'm just cutting this, these strips down the middle, like this. This is my very good fish sushi knife. I mean, meanwhile, sushi chefs are like, what? Totally zero star. So here's my cubed tuna. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna put a little ponzu. There's already a little bit of garlic and shallots in here. And this you can leave it for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Just a teeny bit of lemon juice. Some togarishi, okay. I'm gonna put a teeny bit of sesame because it's very, very rich. A Little bit of rice vinegar. And then our goal is to just make a pretty bowl, essentially. So that's flavoring itself gorgeously. It looks delightful, doesn't it? Listen, if you gotta make it right now, you can make it right now. You, you could eat this right now. If you wanted to absorb more of the marinade and be a little more yum, you could put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. If you put it in for longer, you have a high possibility of it cooking in the um, acid, that's the problem. So I'm gonna just cover this and throw it in the fridge while we assemble the rest of the bowl. Oh, I wanted to grate some ginger in there, sorry. I forgot the ginger. I'm gonna put a little ginger in here, guys. You know, sometimes dinner parties, tonight we make mistakes. Probably more than you know. <laughs> Just grating a little bit of ginger into our actual fish part. It's like two hefty dollops, which I'm now going to... Yeah, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess one of the reasons why you wanna marinate it in the fridge is so it's delightfully cold. You know, it's not like, ugh, tuna. You know, it's nicely chilled. Here we go, assembling the pokey. So I'm gonna start just with rice. So <laughs> this is the craziest rice utensil. This is just white rice. I'm just gonna put rice on the bottom of this bowl. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this cucumber. It's been sitting here all day waiting for its big moment. So I'm just going to cut off the end, which was waiting all day. And I'm gonna cut some sort of chunky-ish pieces of this. Now think of your friend who is recovering physically from something. Somebody who is changing their diet to be healthier. You can turn them on with this kind of stuff, okay? This is high protein, pure food. Oh, first of all, I'm gonna season this a little bit. I'm gonna put a little vinegar on the rice. Okay. I'm gonna put a little shirashi, I mean, I'm sorry, togarishi. It already looks beautiful. Now, I'm gonna put these in a sort of a design. You see what I'm doing here? They need a little bit of salt. You have to treat everything very carefully. Here are some beautiful purple radishes that I'm gonna put in a really nice design. Your friend can mix it, they're gonna mix it all in. Okay, but it's just, your presentation shows love, you know? 
This was Lynn's idea. It's a very good idea. Recreating a takeout is like a very cool idea. Is it a popular takeout item? Yes, one of the top 10. Really? That's a, um, a very nice carrot mixture, which I'm going to season because it's not seasoned. Little togarishi. Um, I'm going to put some edamame beans. These are just edamame beans. I thawed them in salty water. I'm just putting, now don't forget our red element is the tuna. So as I'm building this, I'm thinking of how it looks, right? I'm noticing that we have a lot of green and white, but the center is going to be red. I'm going to squirt a little lemon juice on those. You want each thing to have its own awesome flavor, you know? All right, so I'm just going to put half an avocado on here also. No need to surrender. I'm a humongous Joni Mitchell fan. It even sounds weird to even say that. Joni Mitchell fan. I'm gonna use this Thai green chili, which is quite spicy. I'm just gonna cut it on an angle, you know, to try and get slices like that. And that's not for the faint of heart, by the way. I'm gonna put those where they're super obvious. All right, beautiful. Let's get the tuna. Okay, so this has made some liquid and also the, um, we put liquid in it. I don't, I'm not gonna use all the liquid. Ooh I'm gonna kind of go in between the edamame and the carrots because I'm running out of room. Okay, great. Now, that's your poke bowl, gorgeous. And I'm gonna give you a little suggestion of something you can serve with it. Sriracha mayonnaise, which the ease of which is gonna be slightly shocking to you. Put some sriracha in this container and then put in some mayonnaise. You can put this in a little squeezer and go like this on top of your, your dish. But I prefer to do it so that they can, I don't know, you put it on themselves, right? Here's sriracha. Do you hear the controversy about the sriracha factory? There's a whole documentary about it that they um, changed the formula. I thought I was crazy, but they did. Ooh, ooh, that's good. I don't know who's gonna eat that, Hightail. Hightail's gonna chow down on the poke bowl. Um, okay, so we, we made the sriracha. I'm gonna use pretty big pieces of this because I think they're sort of beautiful. And I'm gonna just put, this is cilantro. Some people have an enzyme in their mouth uh, that makes this taste like soap. It tastes like soap to everybody a little bit. Like some of the kids that hate Brussels sprouts are actually not lying. They have a different enzyme in their mouth that changes the taste of Brussels sprouts. I, I don't mind cilantro. It's not my favorite thing, but it doesn't, it tastes, doesn't, it tastes pretty good to me. I mean, I don't know. I would pay for that. Okie dokie, let's have a pokey. We just want to reiterate how grateful we are that you guys even know we exist and how much we appreciate your attention, your comments, your questions, your queries. We've had some great requests recently and they're all going on the docket. So we do read everything and we try to respond and thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting Dinner Party tonight. And he's sleeping or I would pick him up, but he's getting old and he needs his sleep. Okie dokie, pig in a pokey, <laughs> but no pig. <laughs>